Greetings and salutations, YouTube. It's Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here today with a little handbag rehab. Um, this is actually a bag that I just got from a store a few days ago. If you guys want to see that video, I'm going to have it linked right up there if you guys want to check it out. It's a beautiful Tory Burch drawstring across body bag and it's gorgeous. But I did not notice when I bought it that it had this mark on it right here. So, um, I actually think this mark is from the edge coating of the bag. So this is a problem. Like, this is something that could happen with anyone's bag. Uh, even if it's just in storage inside your closet, this could happen. Like, the edge coating could rub off on here. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna take it out. Hopefully I can get it out, but I'm pretty hopeful that we can. So this is gonna be a good video for anyone, like any bag lover, anyone that has handbags, uh, anyone that wants to take care of their bags, resellers, uh, people that like thrifting and looking for pre-loved goods and all that stuff. Don't let something like this dishearten you from purchasing an item because normally you would be able to lift this up. So hopefully we can. Uh, it's not like one of those crazy stains, oh, hopefully. <laughs> I'm just, like that, I'm just assuming that this is what it is. It also is right here on the strap right there and then over here as well. So also, quick disclaimer, I'm not a handbag rehab being professional or anything. These are just tips and tricks I learned along the way uh, from doing my own research, trying things out myself, and yeah, pretty much. I tried cleaning it, it like does not want to come out at all. It's very adamant with staying put. So, I wanted to try to color match the color with you guys. I haven't done that in a really long time. And I just got some new paints in that I'm excited to try it out. So, the way we're going to do it is we're going to practice. Uh, we're going to like try to color match on the strap first before we go to the bag. And the strap actually does have some of that color transfer on it as well. It's actually right there camera doesn't zoom in as much uh, but it's right there if you guys see it it is right there we are going to try and color match that I almost just want to do it here on the table so we have brown right there and then maybe I'll try to take some of this yellow right there let's add in more yellow we're mixing colors, and it's super fun. It's not stressful at all. It kind of is, but we're just gonna go with it anyway. This probably isn't like the best way to do this either, but have I ever been conventional in the way that I do things? I don't know. Mm, I feel like it needs more red and maybe actually the fire red because I feel like it has like a lot of orange in this. So let's add some red to this concoction. I think we're getting really close to the color. What do you guys think? Is that like getting closer? <laughs> this is so chaotic. <laughs> Who am I? What am I doing? A little more yellow. Should we try it like on a piece of paper? Is it not light enough? If I add a little bit of like a neutral, then that way we can maybe make it a little lighter. We have some of the neutral paint base just to maybe lighten it up. I feel like it just needs to be a little lighter. What if I add in actual white paint? Okay, we'll add a drop of white. <laughs> oh my gosh. I maybe I should have taken like a color theory class. Not that I ever would have because I was a science major. Have you guys watched like those YouTube videos where people like mix colors together? Like I feel like that's what is happening right now. Like one of those co like color mixing videos. I feel like that is so stinking close. I feel like that's... <sighs> okay. Let us try this, you guys. I'm really scared. I haven't done this in a hot second. But I feel like I'm at the dentist office and I'm moving, like, the light closer. But, all right, can you guys see this? Look how close it is to the same color of that. I guess I can always just wipe it off, right? Ooh, we're almost there to that color, you guys. 
it's not quiet. It just needs to be like a little lighter. So we're just gonna wipe that off. I'm gonna add white paint to it. This is so crazy. I've never... <laughs> <laughs> Who does this on the table? That's why I got this glass thing for the table because I was like, you know what? This would be so cool. Like, because anything, like, I can just, like, clean it up. Oh, we are so close. That is so close. Just a little more. Just some more white, I think. And then I think we're going to get it. Oh, that is almost it. That is so close. I think it just has a little too much yellow. Like maybe it just needs a little bit more, like maybe red in it. Is it red? Maybe like a little orange. You guys, my allergies are so bad right now. I, th I feel like that's almost it. It's still a little, it's still a little too yellow. I think it definitely needs a little bit more like red and maybe it needs to be just a tad lighter. Let's add a little bit of red in there. Oh, I hope now it's not too red. I feel like maybe I added too much red now. Did I mess it up? I feel like I added too much red. I just grabbed way too much on the brush. Actually, no. It's even closer than it was before. Okay, we are getting there. Maybe it just needs a little bit more white. This is probably better if I did it like on one of those little painting palettes or whatever that I see people use that I don't have but probably like are like 35 cents or something. I know they're like pretty cheap. Okay. Whew. Oh, also PS, I'm not a professional at all in this um or anything of that nature. <gasps> we are getting so close. This is the closest it's ever been and I'm not really that mad at it because you can barely see it. Even on camera. This is almost the business, you guys. I think it's just a tad too yellow. Like, maybe, like, the tiniest, like, smidge. Smidge, is that a word? Tiniest bit of red. And then we'll be, like, as good as... Ah! Is that too much? No, it might be too much. I feel like I just ruined it. That might have been too much red. Okay, let's try it. Was it too much red? Did I put too much red? I think I did put a little too much red. Or maybe did I not? Da -da 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 I'm driving myself crazy. What am I doing here? Try to mix the paint. Okay, let's try this again. Do 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 do. Okay, this is really close, but is it, like, if I go like this, it's like, what color is that? Is that two? Where are my color theorists? What am I doing? We almost had it all. Okay, we are so close to getting the color, you guys. Like, this is intense. What if I just put, like, a hint, like, the tiniest hint of yellow? Would that do the trick? I feel like that's so close. I feel like it's just like a little too red still. Like maybe if I like made it a little lighter. Can you guys hear that airplane that's flying over the house? No, I'm afraid that I added too much white. I feel like maybe I added too much white to this. Did I add too much white? I think I really did it this time. I added too much white and now it's bad. I think I did add a little too much white. This is gonna be fun to clean. Do you think Windex will just take this out? Okay, let us try this again. <gasps> Wait, did we do it? Is that it? Is that it, you guys? Hold on, is like that like literally it? Did we do it? Oh my gosh, did we do it? You guys, how does that look? What if, okay, hold on, I have, I have a heat gun right here. Okay, maybe it needs like another layer because I can see the stain underneath. Is that like it though? Is that it? Is that the business? Did we do it? I think it's a little dark. Do you think it's a little dark? Do you think I need like a, to add 
like the tiniest amount of white to the paint. Maybe like the tiniest amount. Like literally Hadrian is adding the tiniest amount. Why am I referring to myself in the third person? Okay. A robin feathering his nest has very little time to rest while gathering his bits of twine and twig. Quite intent in his pursuit, he has a merry tune to toot. He knows a song will move the job along. And a spoonful of sugar. Oh my gosh, you guys! I can't turn off the thing! I'm screaming! Okay. <gasps> You guys, I think we did it. I think that's it, right? Like, I can barely tell. Maybe just like a little bit more white. Like, it's like right there. Can you see it? It's like literally like right there. It barely looks like anything. It's like a shadow. But we're gonna do it, y'all. But that is like gosh darn close. I think. I think that's it, you guys. I think we got it. I think that little touch of white seal the deal that's it the color is perfect i can't even see it anymore oh my gosh so excited <gasps> okay okay oh my gosh okay okay ah okay we are gonna move just a little bit back still can't believe this set didn't come with a brown paint. Like, that is slightly absurd, though I am happy that we were able to figure out how to mix that color. And now, we can do this hot mess. All right, are you guys ready for this? Because I, I am so ready. I'm so ready, in fact, I'm actually also gonna use my phone to record this monumental moment. <laughs> I'm trying to do like thin light stroke on here because it's not gonna cover up the black like right away. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do multiple layers. And then, I just put it up. Well. I think just because like this is the back of the bag or maybe it's because I tried to clean this area so much, I think that there's a little bit of like a lightning that's happened in this area. So I think in order to counteract that, I do have to make it lighter. And hopefully this dries darker. So um, I let it dry some more and I feel like I can still see like some of the marks in it. So I definitely didn't have enough paint. So now I'm over here frantically trying to mix up some more paint. So that is currently what's happening. The paint that I got though, like in the middle of this is like so perfect. Like it looks so good. And now I just need to get the rest of it like up to par. We'll see how this goes.
right, let's do this reveal now. Do, 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 Okay, so the bag is looking so, so good. I fixed up all, like, the little scuffs and, like, little marks that were on it. I color matched it. Like, I feel like this is one of my best color matches ever. Um, we were able to just color match it to a T. Um, there was, like, some scratching and, like, discoloration on the T Tory Burch logo right here. Which we filled in and looks fantastic. Um, there was that giant mark that was on the back right here and now it is gone all the discoloration that was also like down here is all gone and right here as well that was like on the bottom all gone so i think the bag is looking so good oh also we got that um that mark that was on here it's completely gone like where is it it was like somewhere on this part of the strap and you can't even tell at all like where it is so i am super duper excited i think the bag looks so good it's ready to go to a new home and hopefully i can get this like photographed and listed by the time this video goes up but i feel like oh my gosh this is just this just makes me so happy i had so much fun actually color matching this um it was actually kind of fun doing it on the glass surface, and it cleaned up really easily. Though I don't think I should do that again. I'll probably have to figure out something else for that. But the bag looks gorgeous, and I am beyond excited. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna pop up some photos of how it looked before too, with that mark on there. Um, there's also like that mark that was on the front as well, but that is also gone. So I am just so, so happy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. I know it was a little bit of a hot mess, but thank you for sticking through it. If you guys enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up, uh, sharing it with your friends um, that may be interested in this as well. And let me know what other handbag rehabs you guys want to do. And if you guys uh, would like to and haven't done so already, please consider subscribing as well. I do post videos every single day about thrifting, handbag rehabs, cooking, vlogs, all that fun stuff. And tune in to a new video to tomorrow, bright and early at 7 a.m. Oh, there's also gonna be a vlog that's up today at 11, so go check that out. I'll see you guys all in the next video. All right, bye.